Next slide. In fact, these are, there are 12 ways minimum in which humans are not, not primates. Not primates. Our bones are much thinner and lighter. Our muscles are five to 10 times weaker, pound for pound. Our skin is not well adapted to direct sunlight. Our adipose tissue, we have 10 times as much, that's the fat under your skin. You cut us deeply and severely, and, and the, the cut's just gonna open because of the fat, and it isn't gonna heal without stitches, and we're gonna, could well get infected and die. You cut them up pretty bad, they're like a horse. It'll go back together and heal, and you know, everything has that, that ability to self-heal, but us. We've got that fat. Body hair missing, patterns reversed. We don't have a lot of body hair relative to primates, and the pattern is completely reversed. Now figure this out, why? They're thick on the back and light on the front, and we swapped it around. Heavy on the front, light on the back. What selective advantage is there to that? Why would nature bother? Okay, head hair and nails must be trimmed. Now, what were we thinking? Where's the advantage in that? Just to give the women something to complain about? My hair, my nails, you know? Sorry, I'm just you know I'm just teasing. But you get the point. That was not a good move. That was not a good move by Mother Nature. It's better to just have, like sending the kids to school in a uniform. Everybody looks the same. What are you complaining about? Everybody looks the same. If you just, you know, if all our hair ended at the same length and our nails, and you know, just, that was a good thing. Why'd we give it up? Skulls and brains, not in the same ballpark. Not even close. Locomotion, most obvious difference. Primates, remember. Speech, we just saw. Throats completely redesigned. Sex, no sign of typical estrous cycles. Genetic disorders, we have over 4,000. Very few among them. We have over 4,000. What were we thinking? <laughs> How do we do this? And most of all, we decided to give up a couple of chromosomes. A couple of whole chromosomes to become what we are. We ought to have about 20 more, it would seem to me. We're so much better, so much more sophisticated in so many ways, supposedly. How do we drop two and do that? Next slide. I'm trying to, to put forth here. Prediction number four, the fossil record from Neanderthals back through the Australopithecines contains nothing resembling a human. They are the bones of hominoids which will prove to be apes that walked out of the Miocene era. Now, as of right now, I'm probably the only person anywhere saying these things. I'm the only person I know about saying these things I'm saying to you here today. But I believe that if not in my lifetime, in the lifetimes of some of you, or the lifetimes of your children or your grandchildren, in the end, I am gonna be right and every damn one of them is going to be wrong. Every damn one of them is going to be wrong. I believe that. I'm going to go to my grave believing that. And I may see it proved before I die. But I know what we're up against. I'm very aware of what we're up against. We're up against a team and we're a dysfunctional family. We're going to have to make some major overhauls in the way we approach the way we do business to have a dog's chance to succeed against these folks. They play hardball. We play jacks by comparison. Okay, next slide. 